ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. That's good to know. Um, any other stories come to mind? Because y'all y'all seem like you got some good stories. Oh, it's Jim. I know we do. It was a Jim story that you got. I got another one. Shakur Stevenson hurt him to the body. Uh -oh. I know I should tell him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was funny. Shakur is so smart in the gym. So Shakur will let people believe they get in the best of him. Yeah. Just so they can get close enough. Because you're and he, and he will hit you in the body so hard. So he got hit so hard he had, he almost doodled on himself. I know you don't want people to know. So he had to fight the rest of the rounds with his butt cheeks clenched. So so that right. So it, it's interesting. <laughs> These guys are so smart in the ring, and that's the reason they champions. It's something. Yeah, Shakur, like, he sits back and lets you think, like, he lets you get comfortable. Yeah, so he'll, he'll make you think you're doing good. You're and you're, winning and everything you're, else. Like, making a move back, then he'll just catch you with something. So he's a great fighter. I feel like Shakur is going to be a problem for a long time. Like I've been saying that to people. He's just the intelligence he has with like his speed and reflexes. It's going to be very difficult to beat him in a pro fight. Yeah, yeah. He's, the, he's truly the future of boxing. If I had to pick one that I think will reign for a long time, I believe it would be Shakur and then Devin. And I'm, I'm being I'm being real. It's Shakur and that's just my opinion because what I've seen in the ring. All of them gonna rule like tank, tank is something. Tank is something also. We was in there with tank. Tank be spawning these big guys trying to knock the me middle ahead. weight, like the middleweights. I forget it was like uh Luis Aries was in there with him and he's like 168. Yeah, yeah tank and he hit like a he kicked like a mule, he hit like a horse. He just that guy hit so hard that he be hurting the big guys, and then he dropped all this weight and fight at 130. So yeah. But 135, so I don't, I feel bad for people. He's going to reign for a long time, too, unless he's self-destruct or something. Well, all so. these guys at the top of the sport, they're there for a reason. Like I've always said, a, a world champion has at least one great attribute that is like amazing. And you have to, the great or the knowledgeable people can look and discern what that trade is. And I always go back to Joe Calzaghi, who, you know, being a white mm -hmm. guy, that was a guy that I always was like, okay, this guy's doing stuff. He had angles, you know, he had angles. Yeah. He could just, it, the punches did not look good, but he'd be uh, 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 turn like he probably would have been the sweetest double end bag hitter ever. 